Foreign Server, this is Fritz here, and today I am showcasing my uh, what I've done to my items on my server. So what I did is I took a PI server and I rewrote the items so that they are object oriented, uh, with, which is not standard with PI. There are bases out there that have that, but it is rather new for PI. I did actually do this with one of my other servers, but I redid it for this so I could add a few more features and it's going to be it's much cleaner as well but that's under the scenes so you're not going to see that so with this uh, with my system every item there is the base set of default IDs that are the base values and essentially everything is based around those so what I can do is I can generate items based off of the originals and what they're going to do is not only are they going to have different stats and possibly names and examines but they're also going to have different appearances like what I've done is I've made it so it slightly randomizes the appearance of the weapon the colors and the makes the, to make the items feel more unique so here I'll give you an example generate uh, one three two one so these are going to be the an example of some bronze scimitars, and you can see up in the top left corner my tooltip has the name and all the stats and you can see they are slightly different each one of those and they actually do appear different so some of them are a bit lighter than the others and darker it's subtle but it is there so I'm gonna pull up a few other ones as well generate 119 this should be adamant cut shields yep so as you can see I gotta move it around. Here are your adamant kite shields. They're all slightly different. I think, can I bump the brightness up? Yes, so that's gonna help you see a bit better. Okay, so I'll generate a few more. And no, these aren't, I know some people are gonna call it, say this, but they are not hard coded. This is random in the co uh, game. As you can see, they're, they're all different, and the stats do show up over here. So I'm going to do one more. If I want. So these are going to be bow short bows. As you can see, it functions just like the normal bow. There's no difference to it because it act it's using it, uh, the original short bow as a base. And again, I can attack crabs just like you normally would be able to. The only difference is the appearance and the stats. So I'm going to head over here. And so what the server does is it actually saves these in a cache so that I can log out, you log back in, and as you can see, all of the colors and stuff are the same. So it doesn't it actually does not just randomize it. It's once it's like that, uh, once the item is like that, it is like that. Your item, your bright uh, your bright rune scimitar is a bright rune scimitar. So I'm gonna drop the stuff and show that it does work as well on the ground right here and the tooltips do work as well you can hover over this and it's going to show up right in the corner and it's also going to work here, I'm going to walk right here and I'm going to drop a few more things and you're going to be able to hover over each individual one and the tooltip is going to resize for the uh, to make room and let me see, I'm going to quick restart the server And okay. Okay, so the server has been restarted. You don't have to believe me, but none of the items are on the ground, and all of my stuff has the same appearance still. So it is actually saving. So thanks for checking it out. Any questions, post in the comments.